How to Hide a Broken Marriage, Harry and Meghan's three-day riddle as rumors swirl about the state of Sussex's impending wedding and engagement should tell us a lot. Hello and a warm welcome to Royal Family News. Use the YouTube channel once in a while, I pretty much have to use that famous Mark Twain line. History never repeats itself, but it often rhymes so okay, you may consider this obligatory use of mine given that we may be about to see a very important moment in real history. B. Repeated, the year was 992. The venue was Seoul, Korea, and the press was on the prowl. Charles and Diana. Then the Prince and Princess of Wales were in Korea for an official tour. It was a crazy idea, considering the relationship between the two. Oh. Absolutely awful at this exact moment. Diana despised her husband so much that, according to biographer Anthony Holden, she initially refused to accompany him on this trip. But she got on the plane and boy, it was a disaster from the start. Their negative feelings towards each other were so evident that the British press had a blast, they nicknamed them gums for days. Instead of enthusiastic news about the future of British imports. Or maybe Diana's latest dress. There was only one story, the painfully clear fact that the marriage between them was over and, a few weeks later, their official separation was announced. Well, here's the interesting part, the part that kinda rhymes now, 31 years later, there's another royal trip to Asia that could reveal all about the status of another royal wedding, the days and weeks ahead could tell us a lot about how things really go. Harry will be heading to Tokyo first this week for something called the Special Edition SPS Sports Value Summit. And three days later, he travels to Singapore for a polo tournament to raise money for his charity center. These events will probably unfold as we imagine. Harry will be happy with the sport, doing his storm cloud routine when near the fourth state, and probably wearing plenty of underwear to beat the Southeast Asian heat, but will Megan be there by her side? Well, this year has seen an inexplicable shift that has taken Megan and Harry from a rather disgusting double act to their seemingly incredibly divergent professional and public lives. In the past eight months, Megan and Harry have only appeared together at two events. The two awards ceremonies in New York, where one or both were to receive a shiny new award and were presented at the coronation of his father, King Charles, in early May. The mega market was not there with him to help him deal with the awkward silences of the rest of the royal family. T is also Harry alone who has made a few trips to the UK as he continues to wage this legal war against certain quarters of the press over allegations of historic phone hacking and illegal intelligence gathering. And it will only be Harry and Harry who will travel to Africa to shoot a documentary for Netflix. Meanwhile, it's not like Meghan is sitting around twiddling her thumbs no no. It was revealed in April that only Meghan had signed with Hollywood mega-agent Emmanuel, encouraging speculation that Emmanuel had something planned to try to revive Meghan's career by then. Aside from a number of pap pictures of them having dinner, they have only undertaken one charity event together, did any wonder then that there were whispered rumors? Some say they may only be five years into their marriage, but there seem to be some issues. In May. The Telegraph published an article titled The Sussexes Are As Angry and Unromantic As Any Couple With Young Children. And this article claims that the omens are bad because Harry and Meghan seem to be going in different directions and the play included this interesting piece, such as their independence from each other, the owner of a major Montecito hotel chain recently told the Daily Telegraph. They have a room reserved for Harry where he sometimes finds himself alone and a source even said that the bungalows at the Los Angeles exclusive members club stage was where Harry's quote was leaked. But even so, this source has also been preserved. They're really happy together, but in the end, they've been through a lot and I think they both felt pretty down about it all. And then in July, Raider Online went furthest of all. They claimed that Harry and Meghan were separated and used the phrase quote of the separation process. Right away. An insider who was allegedly close to Meghan and Harry spoke to page 6 about this radar claim that isn't true, is literally made up. And then last week, we had what seemed to be Harry and Meghan's second comeback attempt in just three months. First, there was a video of them calling the first recipients of responsible technology money, fund youth power 
something they have never done when donating charity money before and immediately after on the same day. They were actually filmed walking out of a local restaurant where they were supposed to be celebrating Meghan's 40th birthday. Something that has never happened before when it comes to celebrating your big day. People magazine also entered the scene. They published a story that offered a number of defenses for things that had gone so wrong for Meghan and Harry, according to the magazine, in regards to their Spotify deal. Cite that no formal plot plan was given and cite things moved. At the end of the article, some argue that Prince, Harry and Meghan are held to a higher standard than others in show business. With the right projects and the people around them, a second act is at hand. Now. People also quoted an insider saying, I think people in Hollywood support them all right, so what's going on? Are Harry and Meghan excited about their next chapter? Are they still leaving each other messages of love or are they unhappy? Are they fleeing to hotels to take a breather and drown their sorrows in room service sandwiches? At this point, we have a lot more questions than we do. This week truly represents the first public test of how things are going for the right-thinking Duke and Duchess. If Meghan shows up in Japan, it looks like we're back to regular programming and all is well with the couple. But if Meghan doesn't show up at her husband's side in Japan, holding his arm tightly, then the rumors of trouble in the marriage will only intensify now. Maybe it's just a quick international john they should have done without the kids but they already did when they traveled to the UK, K, and Holland. Last year for what was to be a series of five-day charity engagements, thought of course, Her Majesty died just two days into their journey and they had to spend two weeks in Britain. So it will be an interesting test. Will Meghan show up in Tokyo and Singapore? Will Harry seem incredibly miserable and lonely as usual? Will love go away and how long will all this laundry survive? All of this could be revealed very soon in you. What do you think of Meghan and Harry? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. If you enjoyed our video tonight, please give it a like and share it with anyone who needs it. And beyond, subscribe to our Royal Family News Team for more updates in the future. I wish you a good weekend and we will see you again in the next videos.